For interpretation of a test result, we need to know concepts of pretest and post-test probability. Pretest probability is probability of presence of a disease before we have performed a diagnostic test. It is equal to prevalence of disease before history and physical examination. After history and physical examination, pretest probability changes based on findings. After we have estimated pretest probability, we perform a diagnostic test and then calculate post-test probability. Post-test probability is probability of presence of a disease after test results are known. There are two methods of calculation of post-test probability. First method is by predictive values. For that, we need sensitivity and specificity of test and prevalence of disease. Other method of calculation of post-test probability is by likelihood ratios. For that, we need sensitivity and specificity of test only. We have already discussed about how to calculate positive and negative predictive values with help of sensitivity and specificity of a test. However, change in prevalence of disease can significantly affect predictive values. For that reason, we need to understand how change in prevalence of disease affects predictive values. Let's see the effect of change in prevalence on predictive values. Suppose we have a population of 1000 people in which prevalence of disease is 20%. Based on this prevalence, 200 people will have disease while 800 people will be healthy. We have a diagnostic test that has sensitivity of 80% and specificity of 90%. We can calculate the true positive and false negative rates in 200 people with disease based on sensitivity of test. Similarly, we can calculate the true negative and false positive test results rates in healthy people. When we calculate the positive predictive value, we can see that positive predictive value in this case is 66%, while negative predictive value is 94%. Now suppose we have another area in which prevalence of same disease is 5%. In that situation, the people with disease will be 50 and healthy people will be 950. When we calculate the positive predictive value, this will be only 29% in this case and negative predictive value will be 98%. We can see although the total population and sensitivity and specificity of test is same in both population, but change in prevalence of disease affects the predictive values. We can see that with increase in prevalence, there is increase in positive predictive value, while when the prevalence reduces, the positive predictive value also reduces, while the negative predictive value increases with decrease in prevalence. In this example, we'll see the extent to which a change in prevalence can affect predictive values. Suppose we have a population in which a disease doesn't exist. If we perform a test on 1000 people, all the positive results will be false positive and positive predictive value in this case will be 0%, while all the negative results will be true negative and negative predictive value in this case will be 100%. We can see that at low prevalence like 5% in this case, positive predictive value can be significantly low as we don't want to increase the prevalence of disease. However, we can decrease number of healthy people in equation that will result in few false positive results and a better positive predictive value. We can see in this example, few healthy people in group leads to increased prevalence of condition in group that will result in better positive predictive value. This can be achieved by performing screening tests on high risk population and performing diagnostic tests with careful selection of patients. This will lead to increased prevalence of condition in group that will result in better positive predictive value. Now let's see how the sensitivity and specificity of test affects the predictive values.
we have seen how change in prevalence of disease affects the predictive values. Another factor that affects the predictive values is sensitivity and specificity of test. In this example, we can see if the specificity of a test is held constant. Increase in sensitivity of test leads to corresponding increase in negative predictive value. And when the sensitivity of test reaches to 100%, the negative predictive value also becomes 100%. We have observed this in example of blood glucose level. There is some increase in positive predictive value, but it's not to the extent like negative predictive value. Similarly, if we keep the sensitivity of test constant, increase in specificity will lead to corresponding increase in positive predictive value. And when the specificity of test reaches to 100%, the positive predictive value also becomes 100%. There is some increase in negative predictive value, but this not as marked as is in case of positive predictive value. In summary, sensitivity and specificity of test is established by performing tests on people who are known to have disease or are healthy by comparing test results with a gold standard test. Once sensitivity and specificity is established, it remains same. It can be only changed by changing the way test is performed or by performing tests on a subset of patients. We know sensitivity of test deals with people who have disease. So if the result of a very sensitive test is negative, this means person doesn't have disease. Similarly, specificity of test deals with people who are healthy. So if results of a test with very high specificity is positive, it means person is not healthy and he has disease. Post-test probability of disease can be calculated by predictive values with help of sensitivity and specificity of test. However, we have seen prevalence of disease can significantly affect predictive values. Positive predictive value can be improved by performing tests on people with reasonable pretest probability of disease. This will result in increased prevalence of condition in group and better positive predictive values. Today we have discussed about sensitivity, specificity and how to calculate post-test probability by predictive values. In next lecture, we'll discuss how to calculate post-test probability by likelihood ratios.